Today's video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite defenses for trips tight in in Madden 25, and this is going to be based out of the nickel double mug defense. Now, if you want to get my entire nickel, dub, nickel double mug defensive ebook, that's going to be linked in the description below. You can get that by becoming a member of our school community. I've been really uh, excited about our school community this year, and uh, I just think it's a great platform and it's a great place to get better. You get access to everything over there, all the eBooks. You got a whole community that will help you get better at the game. You have a pro tip section. I've been doing some film rooms. I've been doing some live lab sessions for our members. Everything is over there. So what I want to do now is I want to talk about this defense that I uh, like to run against trips tight end. So what you want to do in this, in this defense is we are going to be changing the package. And the substitution menu is kind of bugged out. But you want to basically go through and sub out and then sub back in whoever you want, wherever you want. Okay, that's um, it, it's kind of annoying that we still have to do this. But this is this is what you have to do. So you sub everybody out, you sub everybody back in to wherever you want them, and then you're gonna go to packages and you're gonna go to the free safety inside or strong safety inside package, either one of these. What this does is it tells the game that you're putting a slot corner uh, that you're putting a safety at your slot corner position. And so now when we come out in this play, uh, nickel dog three buzz, we can show blitz and then we're going to put this uh, safety this slot corner we can put him in an outside third this is why this is really good because it's really good for defending formations such as trips so our setup is we're going to let me actually respot the ball so we can get a better alignment kind of explain this a little bit more for you guys so basically we're going to show blitz we're going to pinch our d line slant our d line inside this is what's going to set up the blitz aspect and the alignment that we want for the defense now what we're going to do is we're going to use her here but because we're using here it can be kind of challenging at times to create good coverages from this just because of the way that the the way that the alignment unfortunately Ideally in Madden, ideally in college football, regardless of what game you're playing, you want to have a too high safety look. This gives you the best versatility from your coverages and ability to play all kinds of different things. However, what because of how good this blitz is, we really need to play a look like this. Okay, So this is why this strong safety inside package is so good. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this slot corner and we're going to put him in an outside third. This outside third is one of the most important adjustments against trips tight end. It defends literally everything they do. Like it defends so many things in, in trips. And then what I like to do is to take this defensive end on the left and we're going to put him in a vertical hook. We're going to put this outside corner into either a cloud flat, a hard flat or a soft squat. I personally prefer soft squats for the most part this year over cloud flats that being said if they're running a lot of like verticals and you need a, a true flat defender a cloud flat won't match like a soft squat will but i do i do really like the soft squat okay but we'll leave we'll leave that there so you can cloud him or you can soft squat him that's up to you and then as you see here this coverage is really effective and basically we're done um the biggest thing that i would do and you kind of have a couple different ways to do it, ways to get to it. But I think the easiest thing to do here is on this back side, put this outside corner into an outside quarter, and then take this defensive end on the right and just put him in a curl flat. This is a simple trips coverage shell that is really effective for a lot of different things. You're going to stop verticals. You're going to um, because because of the alignment of the slot corner. Watch how he defends like just everything. Like he just defends that slot streak. He defends this outside streak. You see what I'm saying? And of course I got to catch it, but using two controllers. But you see the idea. So let's just take a look at what this, what this coverage shell does against the play verticals. So you see in replay here that the tight end underneath would be your user lurk, right? Um, this quarter is going to do a really good job of actually, and well, I'm going to show you a little game we're going to play on that trip side, but this quarter will defend the crosser late. So we would need to kind of cover him long enough. But And then what I would probably honestly do is I'd cover the crosser and then I would switch stick down to here so that I could take this underneath route uh, across the middle of the field. See how this uh, this cloud is just going to sit there and kind of, kind of roll back to the coverage. And then lastly, you know, a little running back route to the flat, no big deal. 
So this is why switch stick is so important for a route combination like what you just saw. And another little tip that I forgot to mention is when you put this vert hook out here, you want to shade underneath. So what I like to do in terms of my adjustments is we're going to put this outside corner in a, a outside third, put the DN in a vert hook, then shade underneath before you put the cloud flat out there, because if you shade underneath, it'll turn it into a hard flat or a soft squat, whichever you want. And then I like a curl flat on this right side. You don't have to. You can put him in a hard flat. But I think the seam flat or the curl flat is a really good zone this year. And what this does is now let's say they run the same thing. I'll kind of show you how I would actually defend this in real time. I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to switch stick down to this guy. Right. Once I can take away that initial middle of the field throwing window for this crosser, take away that middle field throwing window. As you see here, I'm kind of like right there. I'm then switch sticking by flicking my right joystick to the, this side to take this down underneath the middle of the field. Okay. Let's go over uh, another popular trips combination this year, which is basically just the tight end corner flat. I think this is a decent combo. Uh, and then on the left side, you can really do a lot of stuff. I think a lot of people like something like even just something simple like this is actually a really good play. Um, you know, doing something like that or a drag underneath. But basically, let's take a look at how this defends it. So uh, show blitz, slant inside, pinch your D-line. And then put the D in on the left and a vert hook, shade underneath. And then you can kind of go to town on adjustments. What you see here, this is what it looks like. Now, uh, with, this, with this look, what you're going to see is what's the vulnerability Really, the main thing is this corner route to the right side. So I'll just, we'll just kind of snap the ball and see how it plays. I'm going to try to force this corner. There you go. And you see this is also why the blitz is really effective. So what we see here is this outside quarter, which technically I did leave a third, but he's going to play this tight end pretty good, right? Especially if you put him in an outside quarter. He's going to play him really well. This seam flat will take the flat. He'll just play the first to the flat. So he plays the flat really well. So this side is basically dead. And now I turn my attention as a user back to the middle to see if I got to take a crosser or, and you see here, this is pretty much just bagged up as is, right? Now I want to show you one other thing that you have to be aware of when defending trips tight end, and that is a bomb out of the play PA crossers. This is a really popular setup. A lot of people like to run this. It's basically this right here. So what you need to be aware of in terms of how this is going to play is you do have responsibility to the right side for this deep cross. So what I like to do, and it's kind of, it's kind of up to you how you want to lurk this, honestly. But basically, if you see them run this play, your primary responsibility is that crosser from triangle. Because what will happen is this tight end will pull this corner. And we'll kind of show you this. So the tight end is going to pull the corner. And then there's this window right there where they can hit you over the top. Right? It's one of the best cover three beaters in the game. So if we look at this defense replay and just take a look at how this plays, you're going to see that this quarter plays the tight end. The seam flat plays nobody because there's no flat defender. And your three wreck is going to have to be reliable for defending this backside in route. You see it's kind of running into here. So what are you to do? What I like to do is actually switch stick on to this middle third. However, that is a risky adjustment. And you could also switch stick onto this quarter. Those are a couple of methods. Or another thing you could do is you could say, okay, I'm going to be responsible now for defending the tight end wheel. I'm going to switch stick onto the seam flat. So what I like to do is we're going to – everything's the same adjustment-wise. The only difference is instead of putting a quarter on that outside trips or that tight inside outside corner over here, we're going to put him in a half. And this half will normally play this crosser really well. So as far as your user lurk is concerned, the three rec is going to play that underneath little drag that everyone likes to throw. And you're going to just see, okay, well, they're blocking the running back. They're almost always going to block the running back against this defense because they – this defense is going to, it's got such good pressure. So because of the blitz threat, this is why a blitz threat is the centerpiece to any defense that you ever run because the, the blitz threat forces them to have to block, set up pass protection, put them on a timer. It's so important. That being said, we're standing right here with our user and at the snap of the ball, what we're going to do is they're going to snap the ball and we're going to see this play is coming and we're just going to basically switch stick to him. Switch stick to Mosley. You'll see that deep half goes and guards the crosser. 
in the bomb window. And then your three wreck also guards. So we'll like a look at replay here as Mahomes just, just had so much fight in him. So the snap of the ball here, um, you probably won't realize it, but because, again, I put the deep half there, I have to also kind of anticipate. And I'm telling myself, if, uh, I'm watching the tight end. If he runs a corner, I got a switch stick. So you see here, pretty much the only route he can run is a corner. Now, I did accidentally switch stick to the half. I want to switch stick to this guy and take him away. So you see there, I get it. I take the corner. Now look at backside. You see that backside in route's being defended by the three wreck. The streaks are being defended by the middle third. And then this deep half is going to run to the middle. And basically, this is a deep zone knockout. And it's going to play that crosser really, really well. So this is uh, another way that you can kind of run the same stuff with trips. If you wanted to make this a little easier on yourself, what you could do um, so that you don't have to switch stick and stuff, what you could do is you could basically run two vert hooks shade them underneath and then now your job probably put your put your uh, user you can leave him in a three rack or just man him up to the tight end is probably the easiest but if i see like tight end corner to the right side well now i know guess where i'm going tight end corner to the right side right if i see a tight end corner otherwise i'm free to basically become almost like a mid-read defender so this is my favorite way to be defending trip side in right now. I think this defense is super effective. If you guys want to learn my entire nickel double mug defensive scheme, make sure that you join the school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard for just $10. You're going to get access to everything on the site, including an entire community that will help you get better. All the eBooks, all the updates to the eBooks and exclusive pro tips. Thanks for watching the video and to sign up for that site. The link is in the description below.